Hello guys, in this video, I'd like to share with you how to create a multimodal Maven project using Apache NetBeans IDE. I am Nam Ham Bing from CodeJava.net. Given a scenario in which uh, we need to develop a Java project that consists of two types of apps, console app and desktop app, each app has its own code and they also share some common code in the shared library. So there will be uh, three different projects. The first one is for the shared library. The second one is for the console app and the third one is for the desktop app. So you see, uh, this is a very common scenario in a software project development. So using Maven, we need to create the root project and under the root project, we create the Maven modules. The first module is for the shared library. The second module is for the console app and the third module is for the desktop app. Note that the packaging type of the root project is POM and the packaging type of the three modules can be JAR, as you can see here. Alright, this is Apache NetBeans. As you can see, I'm using Apache NetBeans IDE version 12.4 with Java 15. Okay, let's uh, create the first project, which is a Maven root project. So uh, go to menu file, new project, and select Java with Maven here, and select uh, POM project here to create a top level parent project. Click next and enter the project name. Uh, for example, my company uh, project. And you can specify the group ID version and Java package name here. And click finish. And we got the root project created here. You can see the Maven pom.xml file here. The Maven project file here, you see with the packaging type is POM. So this Maven project uh, will be able to consist of uh, modules. And in the project uh, view, you can see a folder called modules here. So to create the first module in this project, right click on modules and click create new module here and also choose java with maven and choose java application click next and enter the project name for the first module which is for the shared library and java package name sorry come not my company and finish Okay, so we've got the first module created here, and you can see it's uh, POM XML file here, and you can see the packaging type of this uh, shared library project is JAR, and its parent is uh, the root project, my company project here, and in the Maven uh, project file of the root project, it has a module here, you see, in the module section here. Shared library is the first module in this project. And let's uh, specify the version uh, for the shared library here. Artifact ID and version here. Okay, and now let's uh, write the first Java class uh, in the shared library here. New Java class. Uh, common utility, for example finished and in this uh, common utility class we uh, write a very simple uh, static method that returns a string object get app name like this and return my company uh, app beta version And now let's create the second module. So right click on the modules in the root project here. Create new module here. And choose Java with Maven, Java application here. Next. And enter the project name as uh, console app. Java package. 
finished okay so we will got the second module uh, control app here and it's uh, maven xml file here you see packaging type is jar and it's parent project here my company project and in the root project it has the second module is control app here and in the file view you can see uh, in the my company project which is a root project you see we have three subfolders uh, two subfolders console app and shared library here uh, let me open this project uh, using a, a file manager windows explorer so properties here this is a part here okay and open and you see on the file system it is actually a root project and under root project uh, we have the uh, modules here console app and shared library here and let's uh, write code for the console app uh, here new java class console app and we write the main method here and we get the application name app name uh, from the common utility class uh, which is in the shared library shared library so you see uh, we cannot import the common utility class uh, that's uh, because uh, we need to add a dependency for the common as for the shared library uh, in the console app here in the maven project file of the console app here we need to declare dependencies and refer to the dependency information of the shared library here so copy the artifact id and version information here and copy the group id same as the root project okay okay and now in the control app project we can import the common utility class and call its static method get app name and uh, just write a message to the standard console here welcome to app name that's it for the console application and now we can run this uh, program and click the run button here okay select main class and you see blue success you see uh, may, uh, Apache has been uh, using Maven to run the project and you can see uh, uh, the message printed here welcome to my company project ultimate version here that means the console app uh, is using the shared library successfully now i update the text here in the common utility class here my company app uh, standard version and run the program again run the console app uh, application again Hmm, we got a uh, build failure here. You see, we've got the exception no class def file error for the common utility class. Uh, let me run uh, from this, uh, run the project console app, not run the console app class, run the project. still failed uh, run the console app here so if you got this uh, error uh, you can uh, uh, review the shared library here shared library here 
uh, right click uh, build okay build success and uh, we can run the console app project again okay you see the console app uh, is uh, running successfully here uh, it brings the text welcome to my company app standard version here now let's create the third module uh, in the root project so right click uh, on the modules folder here create new module choose java with maven java application next and enter the project name as uh, desktop app change the java package name here finish okay and you can see in the root project uh, maven xml file it has uh, the third module desktop app here and we forgot the uh, project uh, desktop app uh, created here and it's a form xml file here and we also need to uh, reference the shared library uh, in the desktop app project so we copy the same uh, dependency information here from the console app project okay and then write some code for the desktop app here new uh, java class desktop app and I want to build a swing application, so I choose a, a super class is a J frame. Okay. Okay, and uh, write some code, main method, and uh, constructor. Okay, here we declare a static variable static app string app name uh, using the common utility class here get app name and we create a new uh, jframe with the uh, window title is the app name and set layout sorry code the init method Here, uh, set layout to new uh, flow layout. So this uh, will be a very simple Java swing application. Uh, add a new uh, J label, which the text is uh, welcome to app name and set the size of the window set default closed operation exist on closed set uh, location relative to north to make the window centered on the screen and in the main method we run this uh, swing application using swing utilities class utilities here yeah invoke a letter new uh, runnable and in the run uh, method of the new thread here we uh, create a new uh, desktop app object and set visible to okay that's it for the uh, desktop application and now let's run this desktop app program click the run project desktop app here select main class and you see a new window appears with the window title is my company app standard version and a label welcome to my company app standard version here exactly the text return from this get app name method in the shared library uh, project okay and uh, close this window and let me update the 
string here my company app ultimate version and run the desktop app again desktop app okay you see it is updated uh, for the title here my company app ultimate version Now I'd like to show you how to build the root Maven project that consists of modules here, the my company project. So right click on the root project and click run Maven goals here and enter the goal name is install and click OK. And you see build success for all the projects uh, my Company project, shared library project, console app project, and desktop app project. So that's uh, pretty simple, right? And in the files uh, window here, in the root project and under each uh, module, you can see the generated jar file uh, in the target directory here for the console app here. You see, for the desktop app is uh, jar file here you see and for the shared library is jar file here you see so far you have learned how to create a multi module maven project using apache netbeans ide i hope you have found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching